It came out of the blue to do the dress for Chantel um, and Preston, and that was a lot of fun. Her dress was in this beautiful cream ivory duchess satin, uh, had a huge skirt. We based it on a crinoline. We did this construction job on it, which we, we'd never actually done before in any other dress. Um, so it kind of uh, was quite a big skirt, actually. I mean, to get through a doorway, she had to kind of move sideways. Uh, we didn't have that long to make it. In fact, we were doing not just Chantal's dress, we did um, Preston's sister as well, and her mum. And so it was a whole family thing as well. I've always loved designing for weddings because my, my style is very feminine very romantic and it's the ultimate expression of all of that in a wedding dress but you know we've done in between things like the Royal Ballet um, at the Opera House and pantomime we did Patsy Kenza in Cinderella we did musicals um, I've done lots of clothes for Enya for a lot of her albums um, so it's been like a really a big cross-section of things now this is something we did with uh, Vogue. This is way back in the 80s, but it was very successful. Um, John Swinnell took all the pictures and they're fabulous. We've got um, various personalities that we were dressing at the time. For instance, Shakira Kane, who's just so stunningly beautiful. Even now, she's just fabulous looking. And Jane Seymour, who we used to dress a lot. I mean, she was beautiful. That was a scarlet Duchess satin dress. I remember that one very well. And Joan Collins, I love this picture of her, and that was very pale pink, Duchess satin with the most enormous handmade satin roses around her shoulders. Oh, here's, here's a really lovely one. This is uh, Patsy Kensett, when she was just a child, really. So that was our little brochure that we did with Vogue. I find that my training at illustration is very useful as well, particularly, you know, in getting across uh, designs to people because sometimes a design and sketch can be very hard to read so I use um, my Adobe Photoshop now and got quite good at it I think <laughs> and you know can draw these dresses and things on what looks like a, a real person it gives more of an idea feel of what it is I'm trying to do I love the movies now I'm currently into the movies I think the next best challenge would be to get an Oscar but I don't see that happening straight away. Now here's the dress that we did for the film Outlaw by Nick Love and made in silk duchess satin and we were asked to make two of them because one of them was going to completely get destroyed in the process of making the film and I do actually feel that that's the way forward fashion and film together um, because in a film format you can control lighting and music and absolutely everything and you get a pure form of what it is you're trying to get across in a collection. And then we've still got to work out how we're going to do the skirt. If I could be remembered for one thing, I think it's just making a mark on fashion to be remembered of, for having contributed something. And uh, I think probably it will be uh, David and I for doing Diana's dress because that was a dress in a million for a person in a billion, really. Um, something never to be repeated, I don't think, ever in history. Uh, it was so unique.